Prakriti Nagupane presented here with one of the most interesting topic that is the Earth and space. It is believed that the Earth and solar system was originated about 4600 million years ago. The existence and the origin of the whole universe and the solar system has always been an interesting question to mankind. Humans have used their maximum efforts to understand the space and the heavenly bodies that exist in it. Due to vast resources and understanding, many scientific facts have been put forward over the formulation of the Earth. Many hypotheses and theories have been formulated. But yet, there is no uniformity in scientific explanations. Some hypotheses about the origin of the Earth. All planetomial hypotheses. This hypothesis was first formulated by a French astronomer, Georges Buffon, in 1749 AD. According to this hypothesis, a moving star in the universe collided with the Sun. The Sun had broken into many fragments. These fragments finally formed the Earth, other planets, and the satellites. Nebular hypothesis. This hypothesis was first formulated by a German philosopher, Kant, in 1755 AD. After 39 years, another astronomer, Laplace, revised this hypothesis. According to this hypothesis, about 4 billion years ago, a large hot mass of interstellar clouds containing dust and various gases along with water vapor was roaming in the universe. This mass cooled and compressed into the smaller size. This cool nebular mass burst into many smaller fragments. All these smaller fragments started revolving around the larger mass. The large mass became the sun and other smaller fragments became other heavenly bodies. Next one is tidal hypothesis. This hypothesis was proposed by the astronomers Jeans and Jeffrey in 1970 AD. According to this hypothesis, billion and billions of years ago, a large star went past to the sun. Due to the force of attraction between the large star and the sun, many interstellar masses from the sun were attracted towards the large star in the form of tidal waves. These tidal waves separated from the sun and cooled down in the universe to form planets, satellites, asteroids, meteors, etc. Next one is solar system from Milky Way. This hypothesis was founded by a group of scientists in 1944 AD. This hypothesis is also called dust cloud aggregation hypothesis. According to this hypothesis, interstellar clouds, dust and gases in the Milky Way revolved rapidly and were attracted to each other to form numerous heavy masses. During the course of time, larger masses of dust and clouds uh, compressed and converted into the sun. Similarly, other heavenly bodies were formed from the dust. Now let's talk regarding the major reasons for the existence of the life on the earth. Presence of oxygen for respiration, carbon dioxide for photosynthesis, etc. Presence of sunlight, presence of plane, presence of water, presence of favorable temperature, the position of the sun and the earth. The earth takes about 24 hours to rotate around its own axis. It takes about 365 days to complete one revolution around the sun in its elliptical orbit. The earth makes an angle of 66.5 to its orbital plane. The orbital plane in a, is an imaginary plane in which Earth revolves around the Sun in its orbit. The path of the Earth around the Sun is called orbit. The movement of a heavenly body around its one axis is called rotation. The rotation is also called diurnal motion, whereas the movement of the planets around the Sun is called revolution. Revolution is also called annual motion. Effects due to the position of the Sun and the Earth. The equatorial region of the Earth receives direct sunlight, while from the equator to the pole the sunlight is slanted. It has low intensity. Changes in season are due to the tilting of the Earth. It is not due to the change in the distance between the Sun and the Earth. Variation of sunlight causes different climates in the Earth. And the change in the uh, position of the sun changes due to the position of the change in the position of the earth. Effects when the earth's orbit bends to 66.5 degree. The days and night are not always equal in the area except equator. Climate change takes place. Now let's talk regarding the changes in season. The imaginary line that joins the north pole and the south pole of the uh, Earth is called axis. The, image, uh, the real axis of the Earth is tilted by 23.5 degree with the imaginary perpendicular axis of the Earth. Tilting of the Earth and the revolution of the Earth are the main causes for change in season. Due to the tilting of the Earth, some part of the Earth receives direct sunlight while some part of the Earth receives indirect sunlight. The part of the Earth which receives direct sunlight has summer and the part of the Earth which receives the sunlight indirectly has winter. It means when there is winter in the southern hemisphere, hemisphere then there is summer in the northern hemisphere and the sun is said to be at a solstice when the distance between each pole of the earth and the sun is at the highest whereas the sun is said to be at equinox if it appears directly over the equator of the earth 
there are two types of solstice there are summer solstice and the winter solstice summer solstice is the type of solstice that occurs in june 21 when the northern hemisphere has the longest day and the shortest night due to the high intensity of sunlight in the northern hemisphere at that day whereas winter solstice is the type of solstice that occurs in december 22 when the northern hemisphere has the shortest day and the longest night due to the less intensity of sunlight at that day in the uh, uh, northern hemisphere in the same way there are two types of equinox they are vernal equinox and the autumnal equinox vernal equinox is the type of equinox that occurs in mars 21 when uh, the uh, days and night are exactly equal all over the earth it marks the beginning of the spring season whereas autumnal equinox is the type of equinox that occurs in September 23 when the days and night are exactly equal in duration all over the world all over the earth it marks the beginnings of the autumn season now let's discuss regarding the phases of the moon the huge round rock revolving around the planet is called satellite the earth, the moon is the only natural satellite of the earth it does not have its own light it looks bright by reflecting the light from the sun one revolution of the moon around the earth takes 27 days and 7 hours. The moon takes 29 days and 12 hours to rotate and come back to its same state. Observing from the single spot of the earth, the moon rises all every day or 50 minutes later. And during the duration between 29.52 uh, days, there are 8 changes in the illuminating phase of the moon. These different changes in the illuminating phase of the moon are called phases of the moon. Causes of different phases of the moon. The rotation of the earth around the sun and the moon around the earth. Being sun as a luminous body and the earth and moon as a non-luminous body. Eight different uh, phases of the moon. New moon. Once in 15 days, the rising time of the sun and the moon is the same. Due to this region, we cannot see the illuminating phase of the moon. This phase of the moon is called new moon. We cannot see the moon during this phase. Waxing crescent. During this phase, a semicircular part of the moon starts to be visible. This semicircular arc-shaped moon uh, goes on increasing day by day. It can be seen in the evening for a few minutes just after the sunset. First quarter. During this phase, half of the moon is visible. Thus, the phase of the moon in which half of the moon is illuminating is called first quarter. Full moon. In this phase, we observe the entire illuminating phase of the moon. This phase of the moon is called full moon. Occasionally, about two point, every 2.7 years, there are two full moons in the same month. This is referred to as a blue moon. Warning Gibbous In Warning Gibbous, uh, half, uh, more than half of the moon is illuminating and it goes on decreasing continuously. Last quarter In this phase, half of the moon is visible. This illuminating last quarter decreases to the warning crescent. Warning crescent. The illuminating arc shaped moon that comes just before the new moon day is called one increment. It is visible just before the morning. The time period from the new moon to full moon is called bright half. The brightness of the moon increases during, during this period. Whereas the time period from the full moon to the new moon is called dark half. The brightness of the moon decreases during this period. Thank you.